Thanks, Taylor. In more news tonight, California has played a pivotal role in many chapters of our country's history, and migrants have been at the center of much of it. However, those migrants have not always been recognized for those contributions. 23 ABC's Bonnie Patino toured a new exhibit at the CSUB Walter Stein Library exploring the migrant labor experience in the 1930s and the connections to Kern County. She joins us at the Live Center with more. Bonnie. That's right, Brianna. Well, with drought in many parts of the country, the stock market crashing and the mechanization of farming, the Dust Bowl was the perfect storm for people to head out west to places like here in Kern County, where you can still see the remnants of some of these migrant cramps camps just miles away from downtown. Through pictures like these, where you can see black students in East Bakersfield during that time period, you can see what poverty looked like in America. Still, as more information becomes available, history continues to be revised to get a better picture of those chapters. And that is exactly what this exhibit aims to do. They were also a big part of the migrant labor, but you don't see them in a lot of those posters or you don't see them on the covers of books. Kristen Gallant, who helped create this exhibit, is talking about these faces. Those of Mexican, Japanese, and black migrant workers who came to California and helped feed Americans during the Great Depression. All of the photographs that we use for the exhibit were taken by Dorothea Lang herself. Most people are familiar with her photograph, Migrant Mother. That is the image that has come to symbolize an entire period in U.S. history. And the face of, of migrant laborers were white because that's what they related to. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they, it was conscientious on their part to, be ex uh, to exclude other ethnicities or other experiences, but I think for them it's what they specifically related to and they were the lens through which all of these experiences were being filtered. Although images of white migrants were published, photographer Dorothea Ling captured the full diversity of a changing California landscape. There's thousands of photographs and they're not just of white families, they're Asian American, Filipino, uh, Mexican uh, families, so there, there's a large diversity in her own collection. And it wasn't until recently that exhibitions like this one are dusting those pictures off the archives to adjust the lens through which we see history. People narrow into the farm worker movement or farm worker labor to be Hispanic at the point of Cesar Chavez, right? And we can see in the photos that, uh, you know, Latino farm workers have been here for a very long time, right? Donato Cruz, who also helped bring this display to life, says it's highlighting those overlooked. To me, that kind of uh, shows at least legacies for people that have been generationally farm laborers or people that have taken pride uh, being black farmers as well for, for many years and generations, right, especially here in California. They both add the complexities of segregation and racial tension were also present and often not portrayed in popular Dust Bowl era images. At the time, black and white migrants worked together on the fields, but could not attend the same theaters or restaurants. So what we want to do is to shine a contemporary light on those things and make people aware that it wasn't just white Christian farmers that were pushed out of their homes and pushed out of um, their, their ways of making a living. Well, aside from the diversity aspect, the exhibition focuses on several other topics, including the often false narratives billboards made migrant labor camps look like and the poverty many of them face. A reality that Gallen points out is true today, with many farm workers still living in poverty and struggling to feed their own while also feeding America. You can check out the display through May 20th, and it is also listed online through this portal. You can go down and get a more of an in-depth look at what the exhibition was all about and what people experienced during the 1930s in those migrant labor camps. You can also find that linked on our website, trend2023.com. In studio, Bonnie Patino, 23ABC News, connecting you.